Never mind, truck. No pass. All right, the engine brake's holding steady. At 55, 56, so we're good. Good morning. It is 6.30 a.m. Right now, I'm in the mountains of either Idaho or Oregon. My company, Variant, they gave me a delivery going from Indiana all the way to Albany, Oregon. Literally, like the entire U.S. on this one route. It's insane. I'm on day four of trying to make this delivery and I'll get there today but I got incredibly lucky getting a delivery that's this big and the thing about driving here is that there's a lot of downhills so you have to go slow I don't like going past 60 do you hear that like do you hear that like in the background that and now it's just off I have to use that, uh, it's called an engine brake, basically a stronger brake and you really, really have to use that in the mountains. If I don't use that, I use the regular brakes, then the brakes, they'll start to smoke and they'll probably catch fire. But I like the mountain driving, honestly because it's something new. I'm so used to just the highway being completely flat and just boring. Right here, I get to see the trees, I get everything. It's beautiful. Now, I'm hoping after I make this delivery, like probably 2 p.m., that variant will keep me somewhere around the west of the U.S., maybe California around here, because I never, we never, ever, ever go this far out west. Like, usually, it's all east of Indiana. So I just want to see something new. And I better find a rest area to take my lunch break. I only have three and a half hours. Okay, Garmin, rest area along my route. I want one that's like 60 miles. That one only has 10. Uh, scroll up. Uh, that one has 22 spaces. One. Add as next stop. Going to rest area, Echo. God. Westbound on Old Oregon Trail Highway, Echo. My gosh, there's a lot of fog all of a sudden. I put my four ways on the hazards. This is where piles up, piles up usually happen. When it's too foggy, and to make it even worse, you're going, I think I'm going downhill. A mountain? No, it's flat. just said it went, there was a sign back there that says 6%. I cannot see, man. I cannot. It says it's 6% downhill. It's pretty steep, 6%. I can't even see if the downhill starts here. Because, like, my speed isn't... I'm not speeding up, so I don't think... I'll hold it at 60, though. I, I literally cannot... Yeah, make sure no one rear-ends me. There's a way station. Oh no, but it's closed. I literally cannot see a thing at all. I have my window open, so that way, like, I have my window open, so that way I can, if I hear a crash, I know it's, it happens. I still can't tell when the downhill starts. The sign said downhill 6%, but I'm not. Oh, it said ahead. Oh, it said second warning 6% downgrade ahead. So downhill. All right here. Oh my freaking gosh. Oh, what is this truck doing, man? What do you? Don't hang out beside me. It's not 
just a dumb idea to hang out beside me. I'm going downhill with no visibility. You want to hang out right beside me. Let me let this guy pass. I don't know what this monkey is doing. Because if there's an accident ahead, he's going to swerve into me. No, you go ahead. Go ahead, man. I want my space. So that way if I see something, I can actually move and this guy isn't blocking me in. My gosh, he can't see anything. My gosh. I just gotta keep a hold of that engine brake. Strong brake the whole time. If I lose that, if I don't watch my speed, then I really can't control the truck. Keep it at 55. On the good side, this is freaking beautiful. My gosh. Come on, truck. Go pass. Alright, the engine brake's holding steady. At 55, 56, so we're good. Gosh, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Look at that road. Wow. Now we're just getting to the end of this downhill. It's insane downhill. I'm still gonna keep it keep it on the brakes because even though we're close to being flat road, it's still downhill. I could still lose some control uh, right about now. Alright. Not too bad. Alright, I have to make an emergency fuel stop. I definitely will not make it to my next. The next fuel stop's 300 miles away and I'm at about a quarter tank. And there's a lot of hills, so that eats up my fuel mileage, so I'm definitely not making it. Gotta fuel at a pilot instead. Now, I have about three hours left to the delivery. If it's like 12 right now, I think it's 12. I should get there maybe three or four o'clock. I'm not sure. We are done and take the next right toward Holman Street. It was perfect timing because I basically took my lunch break while not okay. I didn't take my lunch break in the fuel island and block other people. By the time I was done fueling, like 15 minutes already went by, and then I went to use the bathroom, and then the person behind me took like 10 minutes to fuel, so then altogether, like it ended up working out perfectly. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto US 395 South. What are you one doing? Mile, turn right on US 395. Oh, let's go full speed. As some of you say, oh, well, there's no one on this highway, so like I can go full speed. Take exit 234B, then continue on to Oregon 99 East South. I'm just about here. Here's the entrance. This is half a mile. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Beta Drive turn Southwest. Right at the traffic light. At the traffic light. Yeah, right there. Oh yeah, and there's the check-in. Oh, and also I gotta hurry up. Take the next right onto Beta Drive Southwest, then continue straight to stay on Beta on. Drive Southwest. Come on, break, break, break. This thing is very heavy. I gotta hurry up because I only have 49 minutes of legal drive time left. Take the next left. Trucks this lane only. Is there only one lane? Left lane? Do it. 
do they want me to slide the tandems? Right, what did they say? What did they sign? I need a vest, no electronics, slide tandems back. Do I slide them here? I don't know, we'll see what they say. All right, so I just checked in. They said that this is a drop-in hook. I'm just dropping a trailer, but they said I can't drop it off until tomorrow. So I have to come back tomorrow. Someone messed up. Either Target messed up or Variant messed up. Someone did not get the appointment right. Ay, 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 man. I gotta figure out where the heck I'm gonna park. Okay, Garmin, truck stop. Which result would you like? Let me see. Is the Loves big enough? Because I'm in Albany, Oregon, and just getting here, there was a lot of traffic, so that tells me a lot of people live here. Okay, Garmin, truck stop. I figure worst thing, I go there and it's not there. They don't have... Which result would you like? If they don't have parking here, then I'll just... Going to Lowe's travel stop on Old Salem I'll Road, Northeast in Albany, else, Oregon. Well, that guy just told me to get out. He wouldn't even allow me the time to go find a, a truck stop. Can you believe that? Just like less than five minutes to park there and just find the GPS. They immediately came up to me and said, hey, get out. Man. Where? I better be parking. This part of the loves. We'll park over here. Is there parking next to this red truck? I think. Yeah, there's plenty. Alright, we'll park it next to this white one. Alright, so the delivery is 18 minutes away. I'll say 20 minutes. So I have to, the earliest I can deliver is 12.30 in the afternoon. So I'll leave around like 12, and then I gotta do the pre-trip, 15 minutes, 12.15, I'll leave. I'll get there like 12.45. All right, well, I gotta cook, and then, then I gotta go back tomorrow. All right, it is the next day. I need to deliver, it's 12. 18 in the afternoon the guy said that I can deliver there 11 hours early that way I don't have to deliver at 1130 at night So we'll see what he says this time In half a mile, take exit 234 B on the right toward Albany Omega 99 Just getting here. All right, there's no line in there, so that's good. I waited in line just to check in for like half an hour before. It was horrible. Right, what is this guy doing? Stay on Beta Drive Southwest. Take the next left, then you will arrive at your destination. There we go. Alright. They said drop it in K17. Spot K17 and just follow the fence. Where is K17? She showed me a map. Now, I think, no, I have to turn around. I passed it. All right, let me turn around right here. Oh, who's that? These are like, all these spots are dead ends. Like they made it difficult. Oh, is it K? Oh God. K-17. Oh my gosh, they gave me the last spot. All right. Oh, well, you know what? I could just go straight and then, yeah, yeah. This is gonna be the plan. I go here, 
and then back straight. Oh gosh. All right, guys. to use all the mirrors right there right there right there right there yep yep is that the spot okay fit left to go right okay the mirror. Don't hit the hood mirror. Okay. Alright. That looks pretty good. Thing is like is it lined up? Yeah it's lined up. After this I I don't have any more um legal drive time so I just need to find a truck stop and park for like two days. I got like two days off and then I go wherever variant sends me. I tell you what, I actually hope I get some deliveries going to California just because it's it's absolutely beautiful in California. But I mean, there's, <laughs> okay, pros of California as a truck driver. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Hans, the cops there are usually very, very strict. I'm sure I've heard they have a lot of rules and regulations. The speed limit for semi trucks is 55 miles an hour. So, I mean, you're not going anywhere. What? Lock landing gear, locking jaws, airlines. But it'd be nice to go. Now, uh, she said row I. They have an empty trailer in row I. Where is I? Oh, this is I. I need to look for a U.S. Alright, I found it. I found it, but it starts with a 7. And those are the older trailers. Well, I mean, she said there was only one, so I don't really have a choice. But hopefully, hopefully it's one of those old trailers that has new tires. They're usually good about changing the tires. Where is it? I lined up for the wrong one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's over there. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Let me see. How are these? That's good. That's good. That's good. Well, oh, is it actually hooked? It's hooked up. No. I tell you. Is this thing even empty? Oh wow, those are brand new tires. Because if it's not empty, then there's no... Oh my gosh. It's a bunch of diapers and... Ah. <sighs> Where's the empty trailer? Ay, ay, ay. All right, I had to cruise around in the truck and see. She said it was row I, so it's here. And now the, there was only one empty trailer. Uh, maybe it's down there somewhere. Gosh dang it. Where? I don't see any. Uh, oh my freaking gosh, man. I think I have to go to their other location. Yeah, there's nothing. Oh wait. I am here. Now she told me if there's nothing here, then there's... Then there's nothing here. Oh my gosh, so far I don't... My gosh, is this gonna be a trailer hunt? Oh, oh no, they're, oh, they're over here. Okay, good, 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 good. There's a seven, or there's one that starts with a two. A 
let's check out the one that starts with a two. The trailers that start with the first number zero, one, or two, I've noticed those are the newer trailers. So let's see. Let me see. If it's actually empty. I don't know. This trailer actually doesn't look new. The new ones have this gray part up to here. But I mean, as long as the tires and the brakes are good. First of all, is it even empty? That's the first thing. It is. All right. Now these ones are good tires. They don't have, they don't have like the yellow auto inflate things. Let me see. I want to pick the best trailer. There was another one that was over here. I would start with seven, but let's, let, let's just see what our options are. have auto inflate this tire is kind of dry rotted though <laughs> yeah the other one's better the other one has way more tread all right now one it is how does this retract stand retract this way why is it so difficult The light's good. Tires are good. Oh, the bolts are good. Everything looks good. That'll be the end of this video. I made the delivery. This took me four days to get here, guys. It's a four-day delivery. Insane. Oh, but I gotta, I gotta move this all the way for. Yeah, that's too wide of a turn for sure. So, I'll see you next... Oh, these are new. I'll see you uh, in the next video, hopefully. Bye-bye.